Hey everyone, it's Fallout Myth, and today I'll show you guys the easiest way to clear Concord on survival mode. We'll be taking a quick detour to get easy access to a fat man, power armor, several fusion cores, and high valued items that will make this a walk in the park. We'll be heading to Robotics Disposal. On the way there, there's a steamer trunk with random loot in the bottom of the lake. Then, we'll stay close to the shore to grab some hidden caps and items. And finally, making our way to Red Rocket and the Mole Rat Den. Keep heading east on Sanctuary until you find the shoreline. Just keep hugging that shore, heading up north until you find this boat here. This is a good point of reference and there's also a cooler here, so cross it and on the other side there is another wreckage. Go south and swim all the way until you see this boat here. It's a little bit foggy so it's hard to see but you get the idea. Open up the trunk, and there's some pretty good stuff in here. Now, from here on, just head straight east. Don't venture out north, because there's some mire lurks and stuff, you don't want to go there. So, we've arrived at Robotics Disposal. We're gonna get a fat man by making a left here. Then, on this trunk, you're gonna get your first fusion core. Go towards the entrance gate, and on the left side, there's a mini nook wedged between the tires. Just kick it around until it's lootable. Heading on this door, there's some loot and a hot rotter magazine. Make sure you get it. It sells well if you want to sell it. On this terminal, you're gonna find the sentry bot um, holotape loaded up, and commanded to self-destruct this guy's gonna give us an additional two fusion cores so all right big explosion there so loot the fusion cores and everything else then head off into the east don't go too far off though because there's some mole rats uh, not very far if it wasn't so foggy you'd see the vertebrate wreckage but it's just right here you don't have to go that far so put in a fusion core get in it and now we're heading off we're gonna backtrack back to the sanctuary lake what we want to do is we want to hug the shore because there's some raiders with molotovs and you don't want to deal with that right now and eventually you're gonna hit this circuit breaker activate it and follow the pipe up the hill and that's gonna give us three cash taps there's some uh, 44 pistol and ammo and some random junk don't forget to go up here too we go and back to the shoreline we go there is a mongrel right around here so if he's giving you a hard time you can always just jump in the water these guys can't swim so keep heading all the way back to sanctuary bridge and get this loot bag and these two corpses line here again don't worry about carry weight you guys should be completely fine now and our you next stop is me dog meat get your doggy he doesn't count as a companion so okay, you're then. still gonna benefit Let's from the lone that. wanderer perks and he gives you around 30 more carry weights that's as much as he can carry so just as you did in sanctuary loot as much as you can later on if you want to scrap all the metal and wood to craft cold traps here there's some really good stuff some cigarettes pre-war money so make sure you get every shelf everything you can get your your hands on and if you turn down this way there is the camp station and some more 
junk that you can scrap and on top of this cooler there's a helmet it takes around a minute or so for these mole, rat mole rats to spawn so you can actually claim the workshop right now it's not dependent on on killing these mole rats Anyway, all the things that we've collected so far, you can chuck them off into the workshop and we'll move on to the mole rat den. Up, I should say, going down this way and around, you're gonna see this hole here and some loot as well. So make sure you get everything. Like I said, carry waste should not be a big deal right now. Now we enter the mole rat den. There's about three rats in here, so be careful. Make sure they don't sneak up on you and give you a hard time. So it's better to sneak. Just crawl and don't let them bite you. Keep looting. Over here, there's a cooler and a duffel bag with more brain fungus. And if you make this turn here, we're going to find our fourth fusion core. some pipe pistol and ammo and right on this skeleton you're gonna find some black rim glasses these are charisma glasses so this will come in handy later on and down this tunnel you're gonna see the last mole rat and a safe Got it. anyway go back Put it all away, organize your um, valuable bin, make sure you're safe. All right, now we're ready for Concord. We got two fusion cores and I've emptied all my carry weight, so I should be ready to go. Keep right here, just because there's some blood bugs on uh, that uh, intersection and they're a pain to deal with right now so keep heading towards this door and you're gonna find a nuka cola quantum on the second floor there's some more junk and a cam box make sure you get that and keep right don't aggro those blood box you're gonna have a bad time once we've entered Concord, it'll trigger the Raider encounter with Preston. If you don't want to deal with these guys, Preston does eventually snipe them, but he does take a while. You'd want to flank them quick while Preston is distracting them uh, from the roof. And here, this is why Dogmeat comes in handy, because he can hold these guys down for you. Alright, Preston. Will coming for you okay once we go in come over to this pillar and flank these guys from the right side if you are having trouble with this just keep heading towards the hall this way and leave them for later there's another guy here uh, sometimes he's all the way back here or closer to the entrance so just be careful on top of this console, there's four bobby pins. If you're low on them, Got make sure you get them. And this is our fifth fusion core. Keep going down the stairs and into this hallway. There's two more raiders. There is a cooler and a duffel bag, so make sure you get additional ammo. It's always helpful. Get the uh, make sure you get always check this uh, Nuka Cola fridge, you can always find good stuff in it. All right, and that's it. We've cleared the Museum of Freedom. Make sure you go into these rooms and just look around into these filing cabinets. You can always find really good stuff here cigarettes gold-plated lighters and stuff before you go in just go on the opposite side because you're gonna find a duffel bag and some other goodies you don't want to miss down this way there's another cooler 
a ammo box, some more filing cabinets. And if we go down this way, there is a cap stash. So make sure you get that. All right. Bingo. Now we Man, need don't Preston. Don't forget to pick up that magazine. It comes with a holotape too. And loot, loot, loot. Now we are ready for the dead claw. Okay, I have my fat man and mini nook ready. Get the cap stash and load up a fusion core. Get your minigun and that triggers the uh, that the uh, raiders encounter. I always like to put in my uh, weapons and cams with these keybinds just for easy access so you're not juggling with the pit boy. Make sure you get this raider up here because he doesn't come down. What you want to do is go straight. Ignore all the raiders, they don't do a lot of damage anyway. Get your Batman ready, keep some distance and destroy him. And that's it, easy peasy. Get the lives of these raiders. If you don't want to bother hunting them down, what you can do is go into this door. Once you go in it, they're all going to follow you. They're all going to come after you at the same time and just shred them. Here, there is a camera with some crystal, which you're going to need to make your um, recruitment beacon. Head up this way and get yourself some high-valued cams. Two XLs. And on the other side, there's a suitcase, and in this washroom, two day trippers, one on the sink, one underneath. Keep heading this way, and there is a hidden first aid kit, so don't forget that too. All right, so we've cleared all the raiders, we've killed the dead claw, and now I'm just sorting through my loot. I'm overcumbered right now, but I still have one perk point which I'm gonna put on strong back. That's gonna give me 25 plus carry weight. Alright, we're gonna so here. pay Preston a what visit. He's gonna give to us 50 caps and 50 fusion cores. Actually, that's 100 caps, never mind. Don't forget your other power armor suit. We're gonna go back to Concord and we're gonna find Gristle. He's got the Corvega storage key. It opens up a uh, storage ammo room, so make sure you get that. We're gonna go back into these houses and find loot. On this one, there's a cam cooler and a cap stash. On the other one, on the opposite side, there is a first aid kit and some ammo box and tool case with ammo and weapons. Backtrack to the dead claw. Don't forget the hide and the meat. It's uh, it's got a lot of um, value if you want to sell it too. Near the Museum of Freedom, you're gonna go into this house and loot the heck out of this place. On the second floor, there is a chem box, so make sure you get that as well. Follow this road, and on the way there, there is this minute man or minute woman, and she's got a pretty good amount of caps and uh, fusion cells. Now we're gonna go find Trashkin Carla. We're gonna get our Charisma dress, our 
glasses and we're gonna drink a beer that's gonna put huh? us on seven charisma we're gonna go with sarcastic love, this option <laughs> gives Girl. us uh she's Have gonna you? give us a small discount on her uh on her stuff don't sell any valuables just get rid of the junk and don't forget to change back because there is a an encounter here there's a couple of raiders that try to um, try to fight Carla. Up here, this is her bed, so make sure you take all her stuff and just stay up here and wait for these guys to to come. There we go. Head back down loot whatever you can nothing too heavy and valuable and this is their campsite there is some really good stuff here i found some camps some high valued junk and bottles now on the opposite side of concord you're gonna see this house and um, down this way is a random encounter location for me, there is a camp vendor, but it's not worth it at this time. It's too pricey. Go up the second level and you will see a cap stash with a wall save. Got it. Now we go back to Concord. We're gonna go into Concord Civic Access. There is some really high valued stuff here there is some mire lurk here it's a pain to deal with so that's why i put on my power armor and brought my minigun because otherwise he, he can he can give you a hard time on this raider corpse you're gonna jump and do a side jump and here you find a tripper some camps and another cap stash on this corner, you have a vault lunch lunchbox and our 6th Fusion Core. And the steamer trunk with another magazine and a mattress with some more high-valued items. So... After looting, we're gonna come to the other side and kill these small rats. This is some easy XP, so might as well get them. They're level 7 already. We're gonna keep looting these guys and head over to these pipes over here. There is a hidden room with an explosives box, so don't forget to get this. Heading back this way, we're gonna jump over this broken fence and we're gonna see a Brahmin in a duffel bag. There is a room in this uh, civic access with a Voltaic lunchbox. I got really lucky and I got a Quantum Nuka Cola. All right, so that's it. We head back to Red Rocket. We dump all our loot, we save and so we got ourselves two power armor suits six fusion cores a ton of high valued items some basic leather armor for protection we're pretty good right now especially with all the pre-war cash we've collected this will come in handy on our next episode where we will get the best gear and weapons in the game. Thanks for watching.